get shouted. Okay, is that it? This area? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. Wheelchair? This is kind of weird. Right now, the left side. Hmm. Okay. Damn it. I get it from here? Probably not. Change the water. Ooh, we have a goodie. Okay, I'll take the health fragment. Okay, there's one more thing. Just a little bit further up. bother doing these funny jumps. There we go. Okay. Oh dear. One of these. one should I use? Maybe the, the data bomb? Maybe the tether charge. Yeah, I thought that might be slightly more effective than usual. There we go. I get back, okay. Shite. Okay. And then we gotta yeet ourselves over there. It's not gonna, quite gonna work, is it? Works out. Okay. Uh, yep. All I need to do is go up. Oh dear. Let's try the, t the tethered. Damn. Okay, let's go there and. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, wait. We can probably get you through the, the thing. Yes, we can. Good for me. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something down here. Oh, is there another door? Okay, so if we're here, are there any clues in the walls or anything? I can't see it, so... Let's change this one. I'm gonna change it to this instead. <laughs> what am I getting wrong? Even the guide says um, you're not meant to get it at this point, but why the fuck would you want to backtrack for it? makes absolutely no sense. No dollars, no cents. Did I correctly write it down? No, I didn't. I didn't because I'm stupid. Oh, can I not? Fine. There we go. Yoink. Alright. This might be a nice weapon. situational I'll take it I do like weapons um... oh it passes through walls okay okay the fact that it um, goes through walls is pretty good Time to progress a bit further. Let's go back to the save point. Oh, did I... There we go. It burned. Nope, nothing here. Playing ladies, more streets of rage. Uh, 
Booty to drop the two. Oh, the classic game known as Retro. That's pretty sweet. Hope you've been having fun with that classic game. And I'm gonna give you a cheers, just because I can. And because I wanna get used to doing this emote all the time. Ahoa! There we go. I'm not sure what language that one is, but I've, I've got like uh, 15 different um, ways to say cheers. So, uh, yeah. Go check out Rat707. She's a person that does a lot of retro. A lot of Sega Genesis retro. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, Rat. I've known Rat for quite a while because of um, my good friend and first follower on Twitch ever, Ocean Manor. Ocean Manor kicks ass. Alright. So I'm just playing this um, game, um, Axiom Verge, came out 2015, and I think we'll finish it today. But it's a Metroidvania, and at the moment we're trying to clear everything. When I say we, I, but you know what I mean. I need to get to the healing point because I'm already halfway down. This is not a great gun. That's a much better situational gun. It's a fun little game, this, but I think I'll be glad when it's over. I'm just not used to Metroidvanias. that style much. I get it, like, the original Super Metroid, I didn't, I didn't realize at the time how influential it was. Like, people just, like, love this genre. Like that and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I did play that one. I, I never finished it, but I did play it. And I was like, ah, oh, you know. But, um, you know, it's a genre that has lasted the test of time. I think there was even, like, another recent retro game, Infernax. That tapped into it. It was all over retro for like a, a couple of days. Yeah, I'm just not much into it. I'm afraid. So, let me see the map here. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, I've got to go back to the save point. And then I've got to go up. Right, okay. Oh, and now that I've got the flamethrower, it can pass through the lasers. Yes, 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 yes. Celeste. I've heard of it. I think I've heard, I may have even bought it. Like, I think it's a very cheap game, isn't it? It's like, um, the sprite is like just a, a tiny, tiny little thing. And it's like a lot of, um, it's a lot of platforming and, uh, ugh. Like, if, if you play a lot of platformers, you know that... Depending on who you are, I just, I have my limit, like, I can play platformers, it's just, sometimes they can really piss me off. But Celeste was like a, a quite an old school one that I believe I bought on sale, I think it's like one dollar or something like that. It's, I played it once and I never touched it again, I'm like, eh. It looked like it had crazy platforming yes yes the last time i played anything that crazy was um the messenger which was just like a it was a king game it's just the messenger really took it out of me by the way if all this if the game music is like um too loud just uh, let me know I don't think it's too loud, like the music I think is the right level, it's just some of the sounds that the game makes, it's just a bit much. Oh yeah, the messenger's music was like, really really good. I liked it a whole bunch. Alright. Time to finally get to the save point. And I go back in my, my little eggy. There we go. Speaking of eggs, I think Easter's around the corner, isn't it? There'll be chocolate eggs everywhere in the shopping centers. I do like chocolate, I'm not gonna lie. 
Some people are like, oh, I don't like sweet things. I don't like chocolate. And I'm like, you're a fucking weirdo. Who doesn't like chocolate? I don't like sweet things. I only like savory. Like, take your hand off it. See, this platforming is fine. I can handle that. Um. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was wondering if I should get like that, um... I think the software is called Clippy or something. You know, it's, it's mainly to show random clips from a person's channel when shouting them out. But I always felt that if you get like a, a dodgy clip, that it doesn't really show off that person so well. So if it was like a, a way to... I mean, you can't help it if it's like a first shout out for a random, but if it's someone that you know, you can kind of curate it a bit, and that's what I would like. Like, if you're able to pick out certain clips and say, okay, choose from these for this shout out, I think that'd be so much better.